Despite all the efforts of the Venezuelan people and the actions of the Venezuelan government, the country is in a very serious situation right now, one that could very well lead to the country's collapse. Of course, this is not all on the government of Venezuela, but on the actions of imperialism as well, trying to sabotage it. Now, I think that's something what we really need to keep in mind in this situation is the inherently uh, bourgeois democratic nature of the government in Venezuela. But right now, it's going through a very serious situation. So far this year, there's been a 159% inflation rate. There's been a 10% decline in GDP. Oil prices have decreased from $105 to less than $50 per barrel. The devaluation of the Bolivar shrank the minimum wage until it was doubled. Import sanctions and hoarding have led to a decrease in the availability of car parts, and there's been widespread hoarding and reselling of food by vendors. Another major problem in the country is the black market, particularly with regards to the illegal purchase of American dollars. Right now, the ex official exchange rate is 6.3 bolivars for every US dollar. The unofficial, the black market exchange rate is 820 to the US dollar. This is a major part of the inflation that the country is suffering from. Now, Wall Street has done its part to hurt the country as well. They frequently forecast defaults on Venezuelan bonds, which drives up the interest rate. Leading companies have ceased production, either from a lack of imported dollars or as a deliberate act of sabotage. Since the government instituted a three-tier foreign exchange system in 2003, there have been phantom importers manipulating the system, resulting in an accumulated $300 billion in capital flight. The manipulations also contributed to scarcity, as many of the items being imported on paper are never actually brought into the country. Earlier this year, in an attempt to undercut the black market, the government launched CIMADI, a free-floating exchange rate starting at 172 bolivars to the dollar. At the time, the black market rate was 185. In the weeks following, dollar today drove the black market out of reach, effectively neutralizing CIMADI. This is being done by Dollar Today, which is a website. Now, in the U.S., the Venezuelan government filed a lawsuit against them on the 23rd of October. They're alleging cyber terrorism manipulation and are seeking money for the damages that were caused. Now, one of the solutions to the problems that Venezuela is going through right now has been the production of commodities by local people and then being sold. A major problem in Venezuela is the the, the lack of goods, and not just the lack of goods, but the fact that people are taking them and then reselling them. Now, this is doing, uh, this is causing a huge problem with the inflation, but people also have to keep doing this in order to make men's ends meet. So it's more like a catch-22 situation. Now, some of these people are producing goods on their own and selling them, which is helping, but it would be better, of course, if all these things were, you know, collectivized into one overall ability to, to produce. But the point is, the Venezuelan government is not very popular right now. And in fact, uh, recent polls show that 67% of the population actually do support uh, the criticisms that are being made by the opposition to the, the Bolivarian revolution. Unfortunately, they lack the popular support to actually you know, really beat them in any kind of election. What we're seeing here is the... the, the the failure that comes with trying to push through revolution via bourgeois democratic reforms or through a bourgeois d a democratic legal system. It, it, it's not going to work. The whole system is designed not to not let it work. That's why we believe in revolution and not going through reforms. It is their system. They control it. They have all the power. And they can always keep doing things like this indefinitely. Given the economic and military power of the United States, they can just keep pounding Venezuela eternally and then blaming all the problems that occur on the Venezuelan government. This is why you need revolution, to tear down the old system and build a new. This is why you need to tear the means of production away from the capitalist class, particularly the foreign capitalists. But this is not what Venezuela is doing. They're very slowly going through a process of nationalization, but leaving much of them wide open to regular capitalists out of fear or out of for some kind of retaliation. I, I don't know why they would be afraid. I mean, they're already doing everything it is they can to sabotage the Venezuelan government as it is and the country. This is why we need revolution and not reform. And hopefully Venezuela realizes that before it's too late. 
If you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, then head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you can go to the MRN Bookstore and check out some of the latest books available. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media.